start now with giving all praise, honor, and glory unto the Most High and to His Son. We also want to say double honors and respects unto the apostles and elders who are in Millstone, Shalom to Yuakim and Yuakwa, who serve the Most High in truth, sincerity, and spirit. We say Shalom, in other words, peace. So, in this lesson, we just want to touch on how the Lord, He only shows His gospel to few. The Lord only shows His light to few people. But as for the masses, the many people out there, you, you know, your old friends, your family, your co-workers, people you know locally or whatnot, many people who you see day to day, they don't have the truth. And though they may look for the truth or though they may hear certain truths, they will never understand. Okay, and that's the fact of the matter. Because the Lord only made few to truly in this life okay in this world that we live in the lord only made few to understand his truth okay and that's the way it is you know and there may be people who are watching right now who who don't understand you know mm -hmm. and th this whole thing is not gonna understand uh make sense Correct. but anyway I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and read uh i'm gonna start out in uh john chapter 8 and 32. <clears throat> It says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. All right, because this truth makes you free. When the Lord gives you the spirit of understanding, wisdom, knowledge, gives you that spirit, you're free, man. And you, want, you, you finally understand. You really know the truth of life. You know that you truly know that there's more to this world than we thought before. Because when we was in the world, when we was of the world, and we wasn't reborn, we thought the world was just about ourselves, you know, about our careers, you know, about what we can do to make our life the best, you know, and, and make it all the way to 80 years old, you know, 100 years old. Kind of. But it's really not about trying to live your, your, your complete best <coughs> life and, and then die, you know, they call it YOLO, you only live once. Mm -hmm. But it's not about that. It's not all about just YOLO, you know? It's not all about you just live once. Because really, you you live many times, you know? And the spirit, your spirit is is really for uh, uh, forever. Bro. But the flesh, when you, you keep coming back on earth and your flesh is recycled or regenerated, mm -hmm. you keep coming back. But anyway, that, that's uh, besides the point. I'm gonna read John chapter 8 and 32 again. It says, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free so Girl. right now we're free you know in the mind you're free because you understand what's really going on you understand that everything that happens in the earth is orchestrated through the most high by the most high through the sun mm -hmm. and that whether or not you make it to whether or not you're killed in this life or, or you make it to the very end to where the lord returns according to prophecy Girl. that's another thing is prophecy you understand everything that's going to happen because right. the, the, the truth says it, which right. is the word. That's right. And so this truth makes you free. I got a piece of on that too. This is um, <clears throat> 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God, the God of this world have blinded the minds of them that believe not. That's the light of the glorious gospel of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, which is the image of God, should shine unto us. <coughs> so, like the brother was going into, if this word, if this light, if this gospel be hid, it's hid to them who are lost, man. Those who ultimately, they're drunk under the philosophies and the wine of Babylon the Great. Because the God of this world is who? Esau. All right, really, we know Satan. Satan has dominion, but we understand Esau, Edom. The way he lives is lawless. So this Western, this Westernized philosophy, this Westernized mindset, okay, that we have been engulfed in from our youth, it's something that we are adjusted to. It's something that we are used to. You know, like before we came into the truth. We thought, like the brother said, we thought it was about us. You know, we thought it was just do what thou will, 
live your life the way you want to live it to the fullest extent not really thinking about the most high or what the most high wants but thinking about what we want you know it was like you know it's, it's what we want to do you know but according to our emotion yeah for me because that's the way you grew up you know for for for, for most for all of us really and i speak for myself but anyway when you was in the world you lived according to what to what other people did you know you looked you looked at other people and they they lived their best life you know they did their yellow they did their career you know and that's that's what babylon the great promoted you know that's what esau the so-called white man he promotes you to serve yourself he promotes you to to live a life according to yourself because he hides the truth he hides that the most high through Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, he hides that from you, okay? He hides the truth. The truth mm -hmm. is that you're supposed to serve the Most High, learn His truth, and, and do what you're supposed to do, all right? According mm -hmm. to Him. Because His ways are higher. Heritage. Come back to your heritage, you know? Yeah, come back to the Most High. But, but <clears throat> Esau will make you think that you don't need to do that. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is is do, wait, you know, do things according to society, mm -hmm. you know? Be a be a participant, participants like you. Be a participating member in his of society. Get a job, <coughs> you know. Do this, that, and the third. Get your wife. Live the live the life of of a damn robot. You know. Come on. He wants you to be a, a robot, a, a, a people of his pasture. <laughs> Come on. But you know you're supposed to be a people of the Lord's pasture. Mm -hmm. You know. That's right. Anyway, that was all. I got a priest of John fourteen and sixteen. Or really, uh, John 14, 17. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not. Neither knoweth him, but you know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. So Yahweh Shai had told us the spirit of truth is not, it's not, it's not some spirit that random people can get into. This is not made for the masses. I. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh doesn't even choose the masses. The Most High God, if you understand, He always showed His power through the, you know, the feeble. He showed His power through those who were at a disadvantage, you know? And that's what Yahweh Bashim is looking for, is those who are at a disadvantage, and He wants to show His, He wants to show His power through them. So that's why, you know, even to this day, the Israelites are in the predicament that they're in, but not only the, just Israel, but really the elected Israel. You know, the Most High hasn't chose the strong things; He chose the weak things of the earth. You see, and that's ultimately something that we have to consider: is that this, the 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 spirit of truth, this thing that is given to us, is not something that the world can receive, man. You see, this is not something that that we can receive at the end of the day, man. Yeah, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I also want to say too, because really, to be honest, when you, when you think about it, they're so used to America being the way it is. You see, this is all that they know. And if you understand something like there was a book that I've read one time or a book that I've, you know, that I, I'm familiar with that it ended up saying that there's different, there's different levels of consciousness, you see. You have different levels of consciousness. You have a people. You have people who are on the base level, who they only understand what they know or what they have grown up into. You see, mm -hmm. they only understand what they have grown up into understanding. All they have grown up to realize or think reality is is what they see. Which really we've grown up to think it's this westernized way. You see, this this westernized culture. You see, and a lot of people can't get past this westernized culture that they perceive as reality. So when they come across the truth, which is really an ancient way, they come across this knowledge, they automatically reject it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, if you have somebody who lived in a cave their whole life and they see the light, they might go close to the light, but it starts to get real bright and they, they, they back up. You know what I'm saying? They're like, nah, I ain't. I'm not gonna go that far. I'm not gonna go that far. So they just wait till the light goes down. Then that's when they go out. They wait till nighttime, and then that's when 
they go out, you know, because that's what they, their eyes are adjusted to. Their eyes are adjusted to living in a in a, 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 a an environment where it's really dark, and darkness represents what? Ignorance. You think? Darkness represents um, lies. You know, it just represents, uh, like I said, like a, like a lie, a deceptive lie that they've been given. So imagine somebody. You know, they've been told that from their whole, you know, their parents been telling them that the whole time. They're living in a cave with their parents, and the parents are telling them, hey, look, man, you don't need to go to that light, man, because that light is going to hurt you. You know, that light's going to kill you. You know, this darkness, this is where you need to stay. Mm. You know, Esau, Edom is, is ultimately that person who's telling you, you need to stay in this darkness, you know, you need to stay here. You go out there, you're gonna get burnt, you gonna, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna die. It's not gonna be good for you, it's not healthy, you know? And then at the end of the day, what are you gonna do? What are the majority of people gonna do? They're gonna be like, I'm gonna stay here, you know? This is what my master told me to do. You know, this is what he told me to do. You know, so I'm, I'm gonna do what he said, because he probably knows best. But let me, and it tells you in the book of Second Corinthians, if this gospel, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna say, if the gospel be his, hit to them that are lost whom the God of this world have blinded. So Esau Edom has showed you the way, so-called. He's given you a way of life, this westernized way. And a lot of people, they just go with it. But ultimately, you and this truth, you're of a different sort, you know? You're able to think for yourself. That's the, that's the difference between you and these other people on the earth. They can't think for themselves. But you, you know, you're like, let me, you know, you you got the spirit in you. I from you. I put the spirit in you to be able to think for yourself, and that's exactly why you can understand this walk. That's why you can understand this truth. That's why you can go into the light. Is because you know the light is actually good for you. You know what I'm saying? You know that's a whole another spectrum that you. It's not harmful, but the people thought it was harmful. You know, people they think it's harmful and they don't want to go to it. You know. Right. All right. Yeah, I'm going to read this. <clears throat> Here's Psalms chapter 49 and 20. You know, going into how, you know, these people, they don't truly understand. You know, they don't have the truth of the Most High. So, for the most part, they're really like beasts. Okay, they don't, they don't truly understand what the Lord, it, you know, his, his law. They don't understand the Lord's way. So, I'm going to read this. Um, Psalms chapter 49 and 20. It says, man that is in honor understandeth and understandeth not is like the beast that mm -hmm. perisheth God. so even though you may be a man or whatever you know you may be a man but if you don't truly understand the ways of the most high that the light wasn't shed on you or brought in your heart like paul says well then that would really make you a beast okay you'd really be like a beast you would perish like the beast okay because there's nothing more to you to your life you don't understand anything. You don't believe in prophecy. You don't believe in the Lord's word. You don't believe in what the creator, you know, what the cre creator says. When the creation doesn't, you know, when the creation doesn't believe in the, in the creator, mm -hmm. you know something's wrong there. You know, because, well, you know, the creation, the creation is, is um, you know, it's pretty, it, it was created not to understand, you know, in other words. <clears throat> But I'm gonna go ahead and go to um, John, and these people were created to be destroyed. What is John chapter, chapter twelve and forty-four? Because for the masses of the people, the masses of the people follow Esau. They follow his his whole agenda. They follow his philosophy, his ways of life. His outlook on life and his outlook on life is really do what you do what you want. Mm -hmm. Evolve, you know, evolve. Whatever your mind thinks, ponder about it. Don't don't say get you behind me, Satan. Think about it. You know, they mm -hmm. if if I feel something if you have a man thinking about another man, and I won't say much more about that. You the the people will just say you know get a therapist and think about it you know mm -hmm. is that what you want and Pete that's 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 Esau in your ears that what you want mm -hmm. and you're gonna be like maybe it is mm -hmm. maybe this is what I want 
Maybe I do want to be with this person that I'm not supposed to be with. Maybe I want to eat this even though I'm not supposed to. Maybe I want to do this even though I'm not supposed to. And you just ponder and you think and you 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 um you you just tell yourself everything is okay and I can live the life I want to live. You know, that's the way Esau and that's the way of Babylon. The wine of Babylon to get you drunk, to get you out of the way of what life really is, you know. So I'm gonna read this in John chapter 12 and 44. Yahweh shall cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am not I am come a light into the world, and that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. And if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not, for I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my word, hath that one judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge in the last day. So, you see, it said, um, he that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. So, when you, when you believe in the word, if you believe what Yahweh Shai says, if you believe in this word, you really believe in the Most High. If you don't believe in the word, you don't believe in the truth that comes out, you're all offended at everything that, that everything that concerns the truth. You're offended that you can't uh, 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 expand your mind in, in certain aspects of, you know, I want to be a part of the ABC community community i want to be a part of the transformer community i want to be a part of this that and the third well then you know if, if you if you hate and you can't accept the truth and that the lord's ways are higher than yours then you know the lord's going to destroy you but going on verse 49 for i am not spoken of myself for i have not spoken of myself but the father which sent me he gave me commandment what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his commandment is life everlasting. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. So anything the Most High said for Yahweh Shai to speak, that's what he did. That's what the, the, the prophets did. That's what Moses did. That's what these certain people who follow Yahweh Shai, they do, you see. And even though you may do these things, you're always gonna have the masses of the people not agreeing they're not going to agree with what you have to say because it's not what you have to say like Yahweh Shai said it's what the most high had to say and people people can never get down with that so i'm gonna go to john chapter 8 and 12 as well it's like yeah movies uh 8 and 12. yeah so it says then spake Yahweh Shai again unto them saying i am the light of the world he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life so if you follow Yahweh Shai you follow Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai you will have that light of life you're not going to be walking in darkness like the masses of the world walk okay because because the people of the world they walk in darkness like we just you know we keep explaining the the, the, the mass of the world they walk in darkness they understand a certain thing that that they believe in you know they may they may have their certain thing their subject that they're so they're, you know they're so they're so set upon you know whether it be you know the law of uh forget what it's called but you know they have these certain philosophies that they just set themselves upon a, upon and that's how they establish themselves and that's how they get themselves destroyed it's because they don't truly believe in the ways of the most high they believe in everything Esau has to say because really every philosophy out there every every doctrine out there it all has it all has something to do with Esau you know but uh, going on here's um here's John chapter 8 in the same chapter 8 and 22 all right and this shall we shall he speak to some Pharisees you know he says then said no, no, verse 20, 21, it says, Then said Yahweh Shai again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins, whether I go ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself? Because he saith, Whether I go ye cannot come. And he said unto them, 
You are from beneath. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. So Yahweh Shai, he said he's going to go somewhere where, where the Jews, you know, these wicked Jews, where they cannot go. And the, and the wicked Jews replied, you know, where are you going to go that we can't go? Are you going to kill yourself? You know, that's not Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai was talking about. He's saying, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go somewhere where you can't, you know. And, and this guy really, you're going to need the truth to, to unlock this place, you know. You're going to need the truth to receive salvation. All right, to make it to the kingdom, you know, because again, there's only going to be few who actually make it into the, into, you know, they actually make it, you know, who who are going to receive this understanding, because like Sirach said, the kingdom was made for few. All right, the world to come, it like it was made for few. You know, the world now is made for for many. You know, but um, I'm gonna go to uh, Daniel. You know, one of the ones that uh, you brought out a lot. Daniel chapter 12 and 10. It says, Many shall be made purified and made white but and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. You know, so it says many, but really it's few. You know, many are going to be made purified and white you know when you really look around there are many people you know as far as you know being in um understanding that you're israelite and understanding the word you know in truth and, and in spirit you know being spiritual you know spirit and truth you worship the most high there are many people but really it's few if you understand there are going to be only few people who who, who are um who are going to be made whole you know who are going to understand truly but as for many, or when you think of the world, word, word many, that's damn near the whole world. You know, the whole world, this whole earth, not a lot of people truly understand the ways of the Most High. You know, you even may have people in the Eastern Eastern countries, you know, they don't really get down, they may not really get down with Babylon the Great or the Western society like that, but, but really, you know, they're not going to have the full truth like you know the Lord's given you mm -hmm. in the depths of hell. You know you're 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 deep in the darkness, and the mm -hmm. Lord still shed His light on you, abroad in your heart for you to truly understand. God. Other people, they may have lived a life in the Eastern countries to where to the point to where they're not indoctrinated like that, but mm -hmm. they will never truly understand it. Like you know the Lord has given it to you, mm -hmm. and that's how you know the Lord is dealing with certain people. God. That's how you know the Lord is with you. God. It also does say, like I said, in Jeremiah uh, 51 to 8, that you made all the earth drunken. So, I mean, in these days and age, you know, really all the earth is drunken off of the philosophy of America. Everybody's, you know, in on that, you know, that philosophy. I mean, these other nations, I mean, they kind of got it to an extent, but they're not as bad. And that's why they're mad. The leaders understand that this is not the way. But yet, yet you being in battle on the grid, you wouldn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? You would look at these other people and look at them and their ways and think they're wrong, you know? You would think China's wrong for running their nation the way they run it. India, you know what I'm saying? All, all these places that, that keep these traditional, way, these traditional ways, like Iraq, you know, you would think, oh, that's, that's, that's inhumane. You know, that's... You know, that's, that's not right. You know, but you were growing up here in this, this wicked-ass kingdom, Babylon the Great, which is prone to the flesh, man. You see? So you can't you can't even say that you know what's right and what's wrong. Because right. you don't. You think you know, and but you've never been into the light yet. You're still in that cave, like I said. You're still in that cave, you know, looking at the light, but you don't want to go to it. Right. And, um... Even back then, this was back years ago. I remember as uh, as I was younger, you know, they had something on, on. I think it was Iraq. Pretty sure it was Iraq. They had they had killings. You know, they put a bag over someone's head, like you know, a black a bag, black. I don't know if it was a prisoner of war, or if it was um an American or whatever, but they killed this dude. You know, in America, they they pretty much put it on their news. And and they framed they they made it to the point to where Iraq just looked insane, you know. Mm -hmm. To me, as 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 I was younger, like a real kid, 
I just looked at it. I was like, that's crazy. You know, yeah. that's 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 insane. Like, why would you ever do that? You know, but if you look into the law, hey, you you would stone people. You know, right. for doing things that pro the man probably did. You know, he right. probably deserved to be uh, put to death. I don't know the full you know story on it, but you know, put be uh, people being put to death in America. That's 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 um that's a no. You know, right. but there are just. Uh, there are um, judgments that are justified to put people to death. You know, you yeah. shouldn't go and murder. I'm just saying, if you if you're going off, you'll be put to death. Yeah. But you know, Americans, you know, in Babylon the Great, they'll say everything, everything that the Lord, you know, everything that the Lord says isn't always right or something yeah. like that. You know. Yeah, and, and like these laws were set here, the law, statutes, and commandments were set here to fight against our lower nature. The Most High is not trying to allow the Most High Yah Bashmi Al They're not. They're not trying to have us operate from a lower nature, man. So these people that are getting stoned and getting judged for acting according to their lower nature, that's that's the law. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to fight against that. That's the fight of the flesh. Right. But I mean, the people of the earth, they don't understand that there's there's rep repercussions for being wicked. You know what I'm saying? Americans don't understand what repercussions are. They don't understand what judgments are, man. They don't understand judgment. That's why it says in Zephaniah 2 and 5, um, the Lord bringeth judgment to light, the wicked know with no shame, basically, mm -hmm. paraphrasing it. Esau, you know, Esau's blinded Americans to where they don't think there's no there's no um, judgment. So they, they don't know judgment, man. All right? They don't have shame. These women... These men, nobody got no damn shame for for me and wicked man. They'll do it to their heart's fullest extent. They'll do it to the the, the most extent. The, 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 I mean, you can't even uh, comprehend how how these people be thinking out here, man. You see, hey, you know, ultimately that's why the Lord's got to destroy this place on fire, man. It's just like in the time of Noah, you know, the 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 thought of every man's heart was only wickedness continually, mm -hmm. you know. They didn't even think about what the Most High wanted. They didn't think about how Yahweh Shai felt about what they're doing, because they didn't believe in the Most High. They, they didn't think about the Most High, but they're going to they're going to have to think about the Most High when uh, when the Most High judges, because they're going to have to figure out they were wrong. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yep. yep. So, yeah, you know these these people, they don't understand, you know, but they're going to figure it out, you know, soon enough. You know, but that's really what the most I made them for, if I'm being honest. You know, because the Lord said that, you know, he made the wicked for the day evil. You know, and these people will have to suffer that judgment because they, you know, the Lord made it to where they would follow Esau, you know, and they would be blinded. They were blinded for the for the reason to be uh, put to death. You know, even like we was going into last time, how the Lord, he really blinded Pharaoh. You know, when the Lord he hardened Pharaoh's heart, that was really him blinding Pharaoh, just to, just so he can you know do do miracles and and uh, and and put him to you know anyway you know just put him to death you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to us uh, uh, Romans chapter five and five. It says, "And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts in the Holy Spirit." which is given unto us. So you see, the Lord, he allowed the, the light to be abro uh, spread abroad in your heart, which is really your mind, you see? And because it's spread abroad in your mind, you're able to understand, you know, when you're walking in your day-to-day -day life, you understand, unlike these other people, the other people, they're walking in the darkness of their mind. They don't understand what the hell's going on. They don't understand prophecy. Whenever something happens, they, they always, you know, they always add it up to some type of some type of odd, you know. Or that whenever they see a car crash or something, they add it up to odds, you know. But that's really judgment, you see. But yeah, that was about it. God, I got second Israel, <coughs> second Israel chapter eight verse one, and he answered me and said, "The Most High have made the world for many, but the world to come for few." I will tell thee a similar to Israel's. As when thou askest the earth, askest the earth, it shall say unto thee, that it giveth much mold, where earthen vessels are made. 
and but little dust that cometh, uh, but little dust that gold cometh of. Even so is the course of this present world. There be many created, but few shall be saved. So, like we had said, man, the, um, ultimately the reason why you're able to understand this truth, man, is because Yahweh Shmuel Shai created you to understand it. You know, Yahweh Shmuel Shai has made you of a higher sort. You know, you're cut of a different cloth. You have a higher consciousness. You're not on that base level of consciousness to where, you know, you're only using your five operations, you know, taste, touch, sight, you know, so on and so forth, right? You're trying to only use these senses. That's, that's what the people of the earth, man, they only use their senses. They're emotional. You know what I'm saying? They, they just, they, what they want is what they want. What they think is what they think. That's what, that's a beast. All right, these people are not far, hey man, if you, if you were to have a damn goat, you know what I'm saying? Like you were to take a goat and give a goat legs, like, like human legs, human arms, a, a little bit of higher consciousness, you know, a little bit of a higher way of thinking, then you would have the regular people on earth, right? The people on earth are equivalent to a goat that has a body like us, and maybe a little bit more, you know, intellect to where they can actually speak and shit, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, man, that's what they are. They're like goats, they're like beasts. That's not much, that's all they can, that's all they think about, man, is themselves. You know what I'm saying? And you got people who, who are a little higher than that. But ultimately, you know, they still, they still can't understand the truth. They still can't understand the light. They still can't conform themselves and be able to submit themselves unto the will of the Most High. Showing you that they still lack, you know? Mm. Which is not your fault, you know, it's not no one's fault. That's it's the most high script, you know. So at the end of the day, man, you gotta be grateful that Yahweh Shimi Ashai has impaired you and has given you the ability to like comprehend, you know what I'm saying, what's being put down through the spirit. Actually, let me get this here in the book of Syrac. I know willing this is making sense. Uh Syrac chapter 17. Five, they receive the use of the five operations of the Lord and we, we understand the five operations are going into the, the, the regular things taste, touch, smell, sight, things like that and in the six he imparted them understanding so now you have the human species we got, underst we got understanding the other animals they, they can use their operations you know according to what animal they are but they don't really have necessarily that understanding. They don't have the mind to be able to articulate and, and things of this sort, to be able to speak, you know, to be able to think, you know, to be able to make decisions. They, they honestly don't have too many of those op uh, operations, but humans do. And in the seventh speech and interpreter of the cogitations are up, so there's actually a higher consciousness than just a regular human being, you know? There's a higher consciousness to the point to where now you can, you can understand, you know, the cogitations, or you can understand different type of prophecies. You know, so you can understand the the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahshua. There's there's another way of consciousness. You know, it's not just limited to the people of the earth because all they understand is what they know, but you have a higher sort of consciousness to where this truth you're tapping into this truth is is above what the people of the earth can even perceive, you know? They weren't built like that, you know? It's the sense, it's like, it's the sense to understand that the words, these words actually mean something, mm -hmm. you know? Because other people, they will read the words and they won't really understand. They won't really think any of it will come to pass because they don't believe, you know? They don't have that sense to truly believe, you know, to have hope and to believe that these words will come to pass. But, you know, the Lord, he made spirits from old to really always believe in these words and to have that sense of understanding that these things are true. Esau read this thing, man. These Edomites, they read it like a book, right? They read it like another mythology book, man. You know, like you be reading these mythology books, and it's cool knowledge. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know it's, it's like, all right, 
I can add it to my, you know, my arsenal of knowledge, right. or whatever. Esau does the same thing with the Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he takes the Bible, he reads all of it, and then he just uses it to his arsenal of knowledge. Mm -hmm. he, 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 he uses it as a form of, you know, mythology, you know, a teaching, mm -hmm. you know, just, just a little, um, what were the they called? Quotes. Huh? For quotes. Yeah, quotes. And proverbs. Yeah, a little proverb. Okay, I should live my life. That's That was a nice mm. little quote right there, right. you know? So-called King Solomon. Yeah, a nice little so uh, proverb right there. Mm. Esau, that's what Esau does, man. He, Zacchaeus, the little man on the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Esau is crazy, man. You and um, they either use it for that or for history, but they'll never use it for prophecy. They'll never use it for understanding. Mm -hmm. they, you know, they never use it for, you know, how to you know how to live their life you know they'll never use it for a guideline on how to live your life they'll never do the law statutes and commandments you know they'll never you know really go out there and prophesy lose their life do what you wish i really said all right they, they don't understand the spirit okay that's why like i said man it's, it's that it's the same scripture man even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive you know the world can't receive the spirit of truth, man. All right? Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit is not going to be placed upon anybody. It's only going to be placed upon the spirits that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai um, wants at the end of the day, man. That's why, you know, let's get this in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Because that Holy Spirit, whom the world cannot receive, um, that's only subject and that's only going to be allowed to be put upon certain spirits. You know, not, not every spirit is going to be able to get into it. Um, here we got the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6 and 27. And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she maketh all things new, and in all ages entering into holy souls. And she maketh them friends of God and prophets, for God loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. You see? So that Holy Spirit, you know, that spirit of wisdom, she enters into holy souls in every single era, you know, every single age, even to this day. Everybody else can't receive the Holy Spirit, but Yahweh Shem Yashai has certain spirits who wisdom enters into and to make it them friends of God and prophets, you see? So that's exactly why to this day you still got a remnant who was able to understand the truth of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, who was able to receive it, you know, and not buck up against it, you know, and this is who Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is dealing with. This is who he loves. He doesn't love the whole earth, but he loves them whom the spirit of wisdom is upon, the Holy Spirit, you know? You got a preset right? Oh, uh, no. Yeah, God, so... I mean, honestly, with that, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and end it off. You ain't got a precept. Y'all might shoot me on shot willing. The video was edifying. Uh, until next time, we say shalom.